I mean, I know I kind of do, but well, I, mean... I thought so. <laughs> I nearly didn't approach you because I thought, oh no, he's, he's, he's surely not that young. I'm in the middle of uh, the video, but I'm going to get them coming out and then I'll find you at the front, yeah? Yeah. Okay, see you in a minute. One second, everybody. Hold on. Here come the lifeguards. I'm going to make sure that I'm way back because I'm, just in case the horses kick off. At the same time, I don't want anyone getting in front of the camera. One second. Here we go. If they ride out without any of them having a little bit of a meltdown, I'm going to be very, very surprised. Oh, whoa. Oh, some of them, look, jumping up in the air. Oh, oh, good Lord. Goodness me, he's lost his helmet, folks. Good heavens. Well done, that trooper, and amazing uh, work by the by the trooper coming out to retrieve his hat. Well, it's a corporal of horse at the rear. But even a corporal of horses, horse is not happy, boy. This morning, look at this. In fact, the trooper that just lost his helmet is an extremely tall and very impressive lifeguard we've seen. Here comes the last horse. The uh, corporal of horse guys is on Q10. I've just re recognised his voice. Horse on the right is Q10. Horse at the back. One, two, his Q10. Goodbye for his Q10. Wow, what a treat to see that. Extraordinary though to see the trooper's helmet getting thrown. But equally extraordinary and wonderful to see how quickly his colleagues are like, you know what, no problem, I've got you. Brilliant, really, really lovely thing to see. Brotherhood and uh, sisterhood between these guys and girls is something else. They've halted for some reason, I'm not sure why. I'm thinking maybe one or two of the horses have kicked off at the end of the tunnel. Let's try and go through if we can quickly, folks, to see what's going on, if anything. I'm not sure why they've, uh, they've stopped. Oh, they're starting to move again. One second. Yeah, it looked like one of the horses was not happy at all. And it held the rest up. Pretty much zero trying to get into the back here. People are just sort of wandering and waiting in the tunnel area. Yeah, okay, they're out. Everything's fine in the end. All good. And they're off. What a morning. Those horses are not going to be happy at all. Riding back. Really not happy. I'm not sure if the tunnel's been reopened yet. One second. Ah, it's soaking wet. Okay, yep, tunnel's open again, guys. They've reopened it. Okay, just in time because the archways are absolutely stuffed with tourists. Look at it. Damn, it's rammed. But seeing the uh, the trooper's horse rear up like that and the helmet getting thrown was actually a huge positive. Why? He saw how he kept his core. Cool. Hold on a second. Where's the gatesman? Wait. These two were right inside. I think the police officer is going to go and tell them. Look. She's just been told off. It's not like a, it's like some kind of changing room at the flipping leisure centre. That said, folks, where is, uh, where's the gatesman? Where's the gatesman? Ah, doing the round. Ah, okay, that explains it. I wonder if they're behind the shop having a little sip of tea. You see, we, you see that? We're in the yard when the helmet fell off. Love the way uh, the other trooper just picked it up. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so the gatesman's at the front uh, doing his rounds. Uh, it would have been interesting to see him deal with that presumptuous lady, lady in inverted commas, uh, if she'd, uh, she'd been standing there. Oh, here he comes. This one is looking proper vexed. <laughs> I, I could, he definitely wanted to shout. Oh, here's the uh, fully contraceptivized tourist now. Look. She's like, Dimitri, I had my hair perms yesterday. Dimitri's like, Ya viju, Svetlana. So pretty crassivi. The boys here. Brilliant. Let's go back to the front, folks. Love her. Some too. Hold on a second. Yeah, you're brave with shorts on in this, aren't you? 
Are you Canadian? Wait, it's actually a lot warmer here now than in Canada. Uh, pretty close, yeah? yeah. Oh wow, yeah. you're the first person I've seen on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a morning to be in London, eh? We just lost our oh dear. Yeah. Hey, have a good day though. Enjoy. Wow. Rare actually to meet Canadians. Yeah, look. Oh, there was the first scream at the arches. I told you we'd get it, everybody. One second. Let's go back into uh, into the yard. Who just got showered? I told you it was absolutely inevitable that the second I moved away, somebody got showered. That was you, wasn't it? I could tell. <laughs> was it this guy here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It was. Uh, it was Isaac, guys. Uh, on the left, Isaac Snuts. Who's next? No one. You know what? I can stand it all day now and no one else is going to walk in there and get shouted at. It's absolutely given. Right, so we've had rude Czechies. Well, maybe they were Slovenian actually. Czeski. I'm, I'm guessing that means Czech. But then, isn't Czech spoken in parts of Slovenia or is Slovenian a completely separate language? I'm confused. Oh, oh. <laughs> bashful looking Isaac just walked past me and he's like, oh, I didn't mean to get shouted at. Oh, Cardi B's just turned up, guys. Ready for a show? There she is, Cardi. Say hi to the camera. Cardi, I'm this, I'm here. No, she doesn't want to talk to us, guys. She's too famous for this channel. Horsey's absolutely drenched. Look at the horse. Poor Horsey. He's like, get me a towel, please, or a blow dryer. John, anyone? Someone, please. Uh, God, I've never actually seen the horse's face and mane being that drenched before. Okay, one second. Let me find the lovely viewers that we met earlier. Let's see if we can ID the horse for them. Okay, right. Have either of you got a spare hand and I can then have a look on the list to see which horse it is yeah. for you? Yeah, sure. Also, keep me dry. One second. I saw the number. I just need to look it up. I don't recognise this horse, but then again... Yeah, well, I promise. It's absolutely soaking wet there. The horse is completely drenched and not in a good mood. Okay, so it's... Wait, what? Hold on one second. Let me just check the number. I think they've got a new one. I think it's a new one. One second. I don't see the whole number, but we would get you like you were six or a nine. I think it's a six. Yeah. yeah, that's what I instinctively thought. And there is no twenty-six. It's a new one. Yeah. There isn't. That's what I'm saying, it's a new one. It's not on the list. The list is only three weeks out of date, so this one with this number is not yeah, it's not on the list. So yeah, you're gonna get a picture with an unnamed or unaided horse. Horse is not happy guys, absolutely drenched. True bags and pulled holes right back. Let's hope it's not a nipper. Let's hope it's uh, not all wand renumbered with the blaze uh, removed with some makeup. Annoying, though, that it had to be one that we don't have on the list. It's like something absolutely extraordinary. Do you want to have a look at the other one, though? Yeah. See the other one. The chance of them both being unidentifiable has got to be almost zero. Let's have a look and see. Second. Gosh. The weather is wretched, folks. It really is horrid. Okay, let me see if I can... I'll, I'll see if I can get the number, then I'll uh, check it for you. Gosh, we can even get over here. Look at how many people there are. Most of whom are not happy at all. Hmm. Not an easy one. One second, everyone. It's a really not easy at all to uh, even be trying to hold a third item when I've only got two hands. Right, wait. I kind of balance my umbrella on, the, on my arm. Oh, really doing good considering that uh, lost the 
Right, this horse is Sangin. Oh, Sangin's had a lot of meltdowns recently. Right, let me get my uh, other hand back. In fact, this is the meltdown from last week. Oops. Okay, yeah, this one's on the list. This is the one that had the meltdown last week. Sangin. Oh, Sangin. Yeah, this is 100% Sangin, without a doubt. Troop is being a little bit careful, letting people get too close, though. Yeah, they're completely drenched to be honest. I think all the umbrellas look bright because that's why I haven't put mine up. Yeah, this is this is the I problem there. I think it could be quite freaky for horses, you know, the yellow leaves. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm definitely saying it. I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't worry, I was teasing about the yellow thing. A lot of people here are actually wearing what is it, orange there. Yeah. Or the yellow umbrella here. Trouble getting a clear picture on the day like today, even being able to film properly is super difficult with uh, with so many umbrellas up. It's 30 seconds outside the umbrella, folks, and the kick got really wet. It's always been soaking wet hair. Okay, finally moving on, which is good. Hooray. That's a nice raincoat. Oh, is it, is it, oh, it's that Canadian one that they gave to you. Oh, it's more like a swimmer shoe, guys, with, uh, with this much water. Rusty guys from Kentucky. Good job, Rusty. It's funny, actually, I did exactly that last week. I did stroke somebody's uh, service dog. Didn't realise, yeah. I said to him, like, oh, is it okay to stroke the dog while I'm stroking it? He said, actually, no. It's my service dog and he marched off. Yeah, my fault. Right, yeah, my fault. I should have realised. Oh, she runs away. Okay, Sangin. <laughs> There's a smile. That's why you've got some really lovely coloured raincoats. Yeah, it came out well actually. You did, you did uh, make a good smile there. The horse is not happy that you can tell. It's really not happy at all. Uh, like a drowned rat in his face, yeah. unfortunately, folks. That said, though, he hasn't got long. What time is it? Can you see them on the... What have we got? 15 minutes until they change them over anyway, so... Actually, quite lucky to get the first shift. It's the shortest one of the day. That's like fast. Who knows, you might might get them on. I mean, the chances are, I would say, less than 50%, but that still equals, you know, there being a, a small possibility. I didn't look about which horses came in. Hey, look, talking of horses. Look, sorry to interrupt, look. Wow, look at these two guys. Police horses. The central gates are not open, so they're going to have to go through the side gates. Not sure which two we got here this morning. Oh, absolutely drenched. Horses, not a happy boy. Look, he's like, oh, I'm soaking wet. Oh, this stupid guy here decided to walk in front of the horse. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. People are actually just standing there, necessitating the officers having to say, excuse me. It's like, hello, maybe you hear the clippy clop sound behind you and get out of the way. Complicated, is it, really? Bing bong. Oh, 
that means our gatesman, hopefully, is about to move, ladies and gents. Hopefully, not guaranteed, but hopefully. So where is he? Oh, he's still in his position. Is he going to move? What do we think? I think he will, personally. And the thing is, on a wet day like today, when everyone's got an umbrella or a raincoat, me included, your vision is massively uh, inferior. At the moment, I've got probably about, I don't know, 90 degrees in front of me, that's it. So people are apt to completely miss what's going on around them. However, it's reasonably clear at the front. The front central gates are closed, which is good. Just spot the police horses turning right in the distance onto a great Scotland Yard. Swap over the hands quickly. I'll oh, drop my umbrella on the floor. Wow, got it. I'm actually left handed, folks. Oh. Get myself way out of the, uh, the way of the gatesman. God took it well, actually, to be fair. I thought she was going to make one of those kind of ah! type screams in it. Some people really overdo it. What is it with yellow is a popular colour this year, folks, no? Obviously I was joking when I said that uh, the Gatesman hates yellow or he's going to shout at people with yellow, but there's a lot of yellow out. So this one, ladies and gents, annoyingly enough, actually, the hoof number looks a bit different now to what it looked like before. I'll try and get a closer snap a bit later. But at the moment, it looks like a new one. We don't recognise this horse, either, do we? Wait. I didn't actually bother to look and see if it's a blues horse or whether they're drawing a lifeguard horse. Nope. It's definitely a blues and royals horse. Right. It's extraordinary how uh, hardy some people are because there are plenty of tourists and people walking around that have got no raincoat um, and no umbrella. So I'm not sure if that means they're going to go shopping. But you can hear the rain hitting my umbrella. How loud it is. Oh. <laughs> oh God, here we go. Look. Come on, somebody wander in there, please. Ideally, someone that uh, thinks it's funny to do a pretend march while they're stuffing their greedy mouth with a bunch of food. Oh, she said thanks. That was very nice of her. Oh, Mum just turned up. In part two, uh, oh, Banana Man's here, guys, look. I think he's, he has only got one spare hand, which means he's not carrying a banana. I'll ask him where it is in a minute. Morning, boss. Where, where's your banana? Banana on the tree. It's on the tree, it's normally in your hand. Yeah, but it's having a Kit Kat, having a break. Have a good day, yeah? You too, see ya. <laughs> the chitsman has pulled the best spot today. Look, notice it's pretty much drier. A little bit of drippy drip above him, but he's got a drier corner than the gatesman. And I'm sure between the two of them, he's happier. I would be. Now the changeover um, will be happening just after this video finishes, but what I think I'll do 
uh, is wait at the front to see how the horses respond when they're forced out into the driving rain. It's an awkward one, this, because on the one hand, the horses coming out from the stables are obviously going to be a little bit more rain-averse, having been, you know, dry and comfortable in the stables. Uh, actually, I think I might go to the little corner in the yard. There's going to be no dismounts today, guys, while it's soaking wet. But at least we'll get close-ups of, uh, of the horses coming out and going back in. The poor horse here is absolutely drenched. I'm sure he's uh, surprised, sorry, that he's taking it so well. Look. Fall off. I thought she was going to feed it something. No, she's not. Uh, so just, uh, just fighting. It's actually hard to film anything when they're all like this. Oh, it's the girl from the yard on the left. I really admire the dude from Canada actually, just, uh, just chilling in his Bermuda shorts. And he had loafers on as well, like Gucci or Ralph Lauren loafers in this weather. I kind of admire that. He's just like, you know what? I'm going to own the weather, it's not going to own me. Hardy Canadians, respect. I mean, to be honest, no one's actually going to get a particularly interesting picture with any horse today because the horses are completely sozzled out. Okay. 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 <laughs> Some people have just completely zero social awareness. He just strode right over and she even said excuse me and just ignored her. Not very nice, is it, to be honest? Cheeky fellow. Oh, we just missed two more police horses. Really small ones, though, actually, this time. Really, really small and cute. <laughs> this is what we're getting in my video today. Random people. Oh, look. oh, that's it. Well done. Look, he's pushing his soaking wet forelock aside. What a thoughtful lady. Oh, flags for law. Ironic, isn't it, that the uh, only way to see a Union flag is on someone's umbrella uh, and not actually flying over horse guards here at the front. They should, I think, probably hoist it up soon when military season begins. I never understood why there isn't one here flying all year round. I mean, we've got two very large flagpoles just below the clock tower, as you can see, which for a lot of uh, times during military season do have a Union flag, but are far from being permanently populated. I will finish up in the yard, guys, and I will restart just as the guard change is underway uh, for part two. Again, we might get lucky, maybe Ormond is here, I don't know. Uh, having seen which corporal of horse it is, there's at least a 50% chance that Ormond will be here. But no guarantees. If he is here, then obviously I will uh, focus on him completely. But today's part two will be more about the horses. So I spent about, what, 80% of this video in the yard or... Uh, dealing with the guard change this side of the gates. <laughs> Happy Italians. Here we are, our last lovely shot. Again, two Italians. Bravissimo. 
the world's most beautiful language. And they're done. And the ammo. Oh, hold on, who's this guy? You're allowed to take a picture. It's yeah, yeah, to take a picture, of course, absolutely. Yeah. I actually thought that was her uh, husband, but it's not. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Either way, it worked out. Folks, Arrivederci. I'll be. Uh, hold on. I think he forgot to press the uh, picture button. He's got a great smile, so hopefully I'll get it right this time. Oh. This guy on the right, look. Why would you just interrupt and get another picture when someone's already trying to take their own picture? Right. This time, I'm definitely, definitely going, folks, no matter what happens. Yep, ciao. Back in part two, folks. Bye for now.